Hi class. Um, today we are going to take a look at 10.5, um, which is called general form of a conic. Now, we have looked at the general form of all the shapes individually, but not all together, which is what we're going to be doing today. So this is just a generic general form of a conic. You've got something x squared plus something y squared, um, something x, something y, and then a constant here equals zero. Um, you'll notice with the letters there, there's no B. They skipped the B. Um, what we took out was a B, X, Y term. That will make the graphs rotate, and you'll get, like, ellipses at an angle and stuff, and we're, we're not going to mess with those. So this is the general form, and what you're going to be given is you're going to be given this just this equation, and you need to get it in the standard form. But before you can do that, you need to identify what kind of shape you're dealing with so you know how to complete the square and, and what the final form should look like. So here's, here's what you're going to do. You need to look at the x squared and the y squared, and that's it. Those two terms are going to tell you what kind of shape you're dealing with. So first off, if the coefficients, the a and the c, if these two numbers are the same, then that means you have a circle. That's it. If A and C are equal, no matter what they are, they could both be 3, they could both be negative 7. If they're the same, then you have a circle. If these two numbers are different, but they have the same sign, so if that's a 2 and that's a 3, or that's a 4 and that's a 5, or that's a negative 7 and that's a negative 8, if, they, if they're different numbers, but they're both positive or they're both negative, then you're going to have an ellipse. If these two numbers are different and they have a different sign, so one of these is negative, that's how you know you have a hyperbola. And then the last one, if you look for your x squared and your y squared and one of them is missing, well, that means you have a parabola. Because a parabola only has one, what's called a quadratic term, that's your squared term, and the other one won't be there. So that's how you know you have a parabola. And that's it. Those are the four things you need to be looking for, and that's what we're going to do. So you're going to be given an equation. You need to identify which conic it is. Then we're going to put it in standard form, and then you're just going to make a simple sketch graph of it. Okay? So very first one. I've got an x squared, and I've got, oh, I don't have a y squared. So that means this is a parabola. Okay? So parabola. Okay? So that's what we're dealing with. Now that we know what kind of shape it is, we can put it in standard form. Now this one, you've only got an x squared. There is no x term. So this one is over it. We don't have to complete the square. The only thing we need to do is we need to factor that 4 out. So x squared equals 4y minus 1. And now we're in standard form. So this is a parabola. It's vertical because of the x squared. Um... The vertex will be at 0, 1. So if I was going to make a sketch of this, 0, 1, that's my vertex. 4 would break down into 4 times 1, so that means my p value is 1. So I'm going to go up 1. I'm going to go left 2 and right 2, and I'm going to make my parabola, and that's, that's it. That's all I need from you today. Okay, so just make a quick sketch just to let me know that you know what direction it should be and what shape, and, and that's it, okay? All right, let's take a look at example B. So, what kind of shape is that? Well, this one may, may be a little confusing. Be careful. If you look at the general form, the x squared and the y squared need, need to be on the same side. So you may look at this and go, oh, the y is negative. Well, the y is on the wrong side. Okay, it should be x squared plus y squared if we bring it over, and then minus 6x plus 6y minus 18 equals 0. So that one was in slightly not the correct form, and that's what made it look different. Now, if you look at it, you should be able to see that you've got an x squared and a y squared. Um, they both just have a 1 in front of them, so this is a circle. Okay, um, if I want to make a sketch of that circle, I need to um, get this in standard form. So that's what we're going to do now. 
All right, I just paused the video. I felt it was out of focus, so hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. All right, so um, this is a circle, so we need to get our x squared, our minus 6x, leave a blank, plus y squared, plus 6y, leave a blank. We'll move the 18 to the other side, add a couple blanks, and now we're good to go. Half of negative 6 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. Same with this one, plus 9. This is now x minus 3 squared, y plus 3 squared equals, and that would be 36. So this is a circle centered at positive 3, negative 3. So I'm going to think about that when I'm making this graph. Positive 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. There's your center, and it should have a radius of 6. So from here, I'm going to go up 3, up 6. I'm going to, and again, I'm just kind of, we're just making a sketch of this. So this is not going to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I feel like this one should have been down further, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. We'll say that's the point I wanted. <clears throat> starting to look more like an ellipse. And that's our circle, and that's all I need from you today. Okay? Um, example C. So what kind of shape is that? I've got a 4x squared. I've got a negative y squared. That is a hyperbola. So now we're all set. So now you can get that into standard form. Factor out the 4, factor out the negative, and then complete the square. So this is going to be a plus 1, so that'll be a plus 4. This will be a plus 9, so that's going to be a minus 9 because it's being multiplied by that negative 1. This is now 4 x minus 1 squared minus y minus 3 squared equals. Uh, the 9's are going to cancel, leaving me with 4. And then when I divide by 4, x minus 1 squared over 1, y minus 3 squared over 4. And that's our hyperbola. So if we were going to graph this, we would start at positive 1, positive 3. Okay, positive 1, 1, 2, 3. There's your center. We're going to go 1 to the left and the right. We're going to go 2 up and down. That's our box. So those are our asymptotes. The x is first, so we're going to go in the x direction. And for today, that's all I need from you. Just make that little sketch. You don't have to say anything else about it. All right, one more. So I've got a 9x squared and a 5y squared. They're both positive, so this is an ellipse. Okay, there you go. So get this in standard form. We've got our 9x squared plus 18x, um, and we've got a 5y squared. We do not have a y. That means this one's done. We, we don't have to complete the square with this one. So 36, and we're just going to have one blank over there. Um, factor out the 9, though. x squared plus 2x. All right, so this will be a plus uh, half of that squared will be plus 1. So this is going to be a plus 9. This will leave us with 9x plus 1 squared plus 5y squared equals... 36 and 9 would be 45, which is very convenient, because now when I divide by that 45, it's going to cancel with the 9, it's going to cancel with the 5, and I'm going to get the exact form that I want. So that's a 5, 9. All right, so this is an ellipse centered at negative 1, 0. 
So negative one zero. There's the center of my ellipse. Um, this ellipse is going to go the square root of five, so that's about one, two, and a little bit to the left. One, two, and a little bit to the right. It's going to be the square root of nine, so it's going to be three. One, two, three up, and one, two, three down. Where's that point? Where's that point? Again, I'm cheating a little bit. The shape of my ellipse wasn't looking right, so I may not have been consistent with my marking. So we'll say that's your ellipse. And that's all I need from you. You don't have to find the foci. You don't have to label anything. Just make a quick sketch. Let me know that you know what direction it goes and everything, and you're good to go. Thanks.